All right, let's get back to Joseph. If you you just saw that Jerry Springer story play out <laughs> in the Bible, <laughs> Mar Povich going on in here. Let's go to um back to Joseph, Genesis chapter thirty nine. So if you know the, the backstory, Joseph was sold, uh, was bought, sold into slavery, and Joseph was brought down to Egypt. And Potiphar, ooh, something just dropped in my head. All you black folks out there, y'all still trying to seek reparations for your ancestors being slaves. What that mean? You supposed to hold a grudge for the rest of your life? If God is for you, you here now. A lot of y'all don't understand. My ancestors was in chains. A lot of y'all still been in Africa with spears and this and that. Mm. But you got to think about, if you do the math into the Bible, when children rebel against God, what happens normally? They get sold into slavery. That's almost the end of death. You want to be mad at the white man? Get mad at God. He allowed it to happen. <laughs> Most likely because we was doing voodoo and witchcraft over there, and God wanted to draw us away from it. Yeah, I said us. I'm black too. But I don't, I, I see the big picture. If you read the Bible, it's a pattern. You mess up, you get sold into slavery. And sometimes, if you don't mess up, you get sold into slavery. It doesn't matter. All things work together for the good of those that are called according to his purpose. It's very simple. Stop trying to play the blame game. The white man, the black man, the Asian man, the Japanese man. Normally, messed up stuff happens when a civilization or a nation messes up. Anyway, let's keep going. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt, and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him of the hands of the Ishmaelites. Which had brought him down thither. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man, and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. His master, the Egyptian. Oh, y'all don't like that word, don't you? Deal with it, homie. His boss. And his master saw that the Lord was with him. So, what he said, be kind to the shrewd and the righteous alike, and you still retain favor from the Lord. And his master saw that the Lord was with him, and the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. Hmm. Oh, the Bible is a slave book. Shut the hell up. And Joseph found grace in his sight, and he served him, and he made him overseer of his house. This is a slave book. <laughs> and all that he had put into his hand. Hmm. If you do well, won't your works be accepted? Accepted? If you do evil, sin lies at the door. But you should have power over sin. What God told Cain. Look at Joseph. This still applies today. If you do well, won't your deeds be accepted? And it came to pass for time to time that he made him overseer in his house and over all that he had. You see, a lot of y'all like, I can't wait to be rich. I want millions. You know what I'd rather be? Like Joseph. I work hard for whatever I got. Look at this. Joseph be overseer of everything in this house. Ain't none of that his. <laughs> and this is just the start. This is just the start of something great that's about to happen for Joseph. And Joseph didn't work super hard to get it. God favored him. Promotion come from the Lord. Read the word. But I ain't over yet. The house of Joseph's sake and the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. So, Potiphar was blessed because Joseph was blessed and favored. What? I have a blessing that bless you and curse you and curse you? What? 
Does it make sense to you now? And he left all that he had in Joseph's hands. Joseph didn't become a millionaire overnight. <laughs> I'm just saying, God, look, man. I don't know where y'all get these concepts from. And he knew not all he had, save the bread which he did eat. And Joseph was a goodly person and well favored. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph and she said, Lie with me. Ooh, men, 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 men. I can relate. Can I tell you a side story? It kind of similar to this. I was working at a move uh, furniture store years ago. Two temptations arose. I'm a married man at the time. And a woman came to me, her husband was in jail. I ain't gonna say no names just in case she stumbled upon this video. But nothing happened. But anyway, she was like, my husband's in jail. It's a game going on. You wanna go to the game with me? I'm like, I don't think so. But she said something to me. She said, I wanna fool around with somebody that got much to lose as I do. Mm. One thing I can lose is my salvation and my head by sleeping with somebody else's wife. I refused. I said no. At the same job, another woman was interested in me. The boss lady. Mm. She was married also. She's always telling me stories. My husband's out of town today. Come by and have a drink with me. Or chill with me. I'm like, uh, you must think I'm stupid, man. You know what? During this time period, I was reading the Bible back to back. No, 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 no. So I turned both of them down. And after that, they conspired against me. And I was fired. Wow. <laughs> you ever been fired for doing the right thing? Well, we finna find out. <laughs> hmm? And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph and said, Lie with me. But he refused and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master, what if not what is with me in the house? And he hath committed all that he hath to my hand. There is none greater in his house than I. Neither have he kept back anything from me. But thee, because thou art his wife, how then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? To all you adulterers out there. <laughs> and it came to pass... Well, if, some, if you don't do it, somebody's going to let somebody else do it. <laughs> don't you be the fool. <laughs> and it came to pass, as she spake to Joseph day by day, that he hearkened not to her. Lie by her, to lie by her, or to be with her. So she didn't stop. She didn't stop. She wanted him, boy. Read Proverbs. She wanted him. And Joseph was like, I'm not going to disrespect God. Wow, the commandments haven't been written yet. I'm not going to disrespect God. <laughs> we just told you a story of harlotry and stuff. <laughs> and it came to pass about this time that Joseph went into the house to do his business. And he told my whoredoms because Joseph was a righteous man. And there was none of them the men of the house there with him. Ooh, the perfect time to do something evil. Not. And she caught him by his garment saying, lie with me. And left his garment in her hand and fled and got him out. And it came to pass when she saw that he had left his garment in her hand and was fled forth. And she called to the men of her house and spake unto him saying, see, he had brought in in Hebrew to us to mock us, he came in to me to lie with me. And I cried with a loud voice, you, boy, I almost said something. And it came to pass, when he heard that I, when, when he heard that I lifted up my voice and cried that he left his garment with me and fled and got him out. You see, some women get, some people get mad when you don't sleep with them. <laughs> I remember a few years ago, after my divorce, I went to the club. My family encouraged me to go. There was a woman there. Now, keep an eye on this. is going to relate. 
the woman, when I first came back to town after my divorce, my birthday came around that year, by 2013, May 17th. This woman was married on my birthday. Her and her husband were having problems. So about a few months later, they're like, we're going out. Mm. And she's coming. So me being a spiritual man, like, huh, ain't she married? But also, mm, you know, I'm like, okay. So I danced with her a little bit. I remember we got in the car. She's like, you must be gay. I ain't want to really bust her head open with the truth. I said, nah, it's not what you think. Something along those lines. Because I wouldn't lie with her. I wasn't trying, to, even though she was throwing herself at me. <laughs> but the word of God stays in my heart, especially when it comes to married women. And lately, even when it comes to single women, glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus, mm. for restraining me. Mm. So I can relate to a lot of these stories. And you're going to start seeing your life relate to many stories in here, too. Mm. Well, I ain't even got to the fruit yet. I thought we were talking about dreams. Oh, <laughs> well, in the meantime, catch all these side stories and side lessons, too. Mm. I'm not your normal teacher. I like to give you in depth. And she laid upon his, up his garment by her until his Lord came home. And she spake unto him according to these words, saying, The Hebrew servant which thou hast brought unto us came in unto me to mock me. And it came to pass as I lifted up my voice and cried that he left his garment with me and fled out. And it came to pass when his master heard the words of his wife, which she spake unto him, saying, After this manner did they serve it to me, that his wrath was kindled. Lord, don't you just hate being lied on? And Joseph's master took him and put him into prison. But I'm going to tell you the truth. Men know their wives. If you do the math, if you really thought Joseph had did such a thing, he would have killed him. What he did was worthy of death. But he knew. He probably looking at his wife like, this the fifth mother. <laughs> Are you making me look like a fool, woman? <laughs> Amazing, ain't it? And Joseph's master took him and put him into prison. A place where the king's prisoners were bound. How many don't tell her how many in there? Hey man, did she try to sleep with you too? Oh <laughs> you, you slept with her, man. You lying, I did. <laughs> you know how people be talking? You ain't sleep with her. Man, she fine, boy. You even sleep with her. You lying like hell. <laughs> Oh, Lord, boy, y'all got to enjoy the word and take it for what it's worth and enjoy it, you know. I think God is mad at me because of what I just did. I don't think so. You know, you know people. Man, I swear, you know when people go in jail, some people be telling the truth. Man, I know I, I didn't do it. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I believe you. But he was right. Sometimes people are telling the truth. My recent wife swear I slept with my ex-wife. And I and I told her so many times, no. Yes, she did. No. Yes, she did. No. Just because you admitted your fault, I can't admit a fault that I can't I haven't done because God is no father of lies and I can't lie to you. You want me to lie to you and make you feel happy? Yeah, I slept with her. No, I can't do that. No, I didn't. I didn't. I did not sleep with her. No, you just deal with your sin. And he was there in the prison, but the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy. If you do well, won't your words be accepted? You know, man, how many false accusers, how many pits you get thrown into, how many times you get sent into slavery? Stay in it. And the keeper of the prison, but the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. Wow. He was a trustee. <laughs> and the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners that were in the prison. Wow. 
Whatever they did there, he was the doer of it. So with him being the doer of it, he put a righteous man in place in, in prison. And that man probably brought, Joseph probably brought so much change into that prison. Because he was working for God. And he came, his whole path, go to prosper. Let's clean prosper. Let's expose this wicked ass wife he got. Mm -hmm. For the fifth time. And uh, <laughs> let's clean up this prison. Since you, and on the meantime, I'm going to teach you how to manage something that's not yours. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to teach you how to manage something else that ain't yours. Because I'm pre preparing you for something greater. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lead you to your dreams. And it ain't going to make sense. But keep your faith. Keep my commandments. Keep trusting in me. Stay righteous. Did y'all get the messages? You see, this would have never happened. They say he would have slept with him. He probably did. They say he would have tried to go back and get raw for his brother. I'm going to kill my brother. He didn't do none of that. He took wrong. He didn't even try to please the case. Hey, man. Forget it. I know he feel bad. His wife just straight disrespected him in front of the whole out of his house. <laughs> but that's normally what people do. Instead of attacking the spouse, they attack the other. I'm going to be real with you. I don't know the other person, but I know you. I'm coming at you. And the keepers of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners that were in the prison and whatsoever they did there, he was the doer of it. The keeper of the prison looked not to anything that was under his hand because the Lord was with him. And that which he did, the Lord made it to prosper. Amazing. Great, 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 great. Mm -hmm. I might not even finish this today. It's so good. I might spread it out over two days. Because mm -hmm. I just love this story. It's one of my favorite ones. When I first started reading the Bible. The story of Joseph. It hit me faster than anything else. Because I was a dreamer of dreams. God is good, people. And you know what? I am going to finish this story another day. <laughs> God is so great. <laughs> you see, most people, that's why he say, don't reward evil for evil, right? Don't reward evil for evil. I know y'all like, but I can't wait to the conclusion. But let me tell you something. I've been watching WWE lately. And I remember last year, I kind of knew what was going to happen. But they foreshadowed it. They put Cody Rhodes on the cover of WWE 24. And he's going to win the title. I knew it. And it was like, my story. Finish your story. And people are like, how do all things work together for those who love God? God is trying to finish. He's going to finish your story. He's going to finish your dream. That he put in your heart. And a lot of times he don't give you every little detail of what's going to happen. But he put it in your heart for a reason. Well, the Bible says trust not in your heart. And lean on your own son. He put it down. If he put it down, it's not trusting in your own heart. It's trusting in him. I know it's kind of confusing, but it's not. Not my will, but yours be done in my life, Lord Jesus. And that's how you should be. But there are some things, some dreams that he put in you, that he's trying to accomplish. And you like, man, nothing looks right. Why is this happening? You see, everything don't happen overnight. If you look at it, Joseph was always, what's the word? He had integrity. He was doing the right thing. That's why his dad, dad trusted him over his sons. His sons were like, like sure, I'm going to be the next in line. But they were wicked. Mm hmm but Joseph was righteous. 
And God had a plan for Joseph. He got a plan for you. Let me pause and I will continue.